How's it going, everybody? I'm Danny D. This is Seven Deadly Bananas, and we are about to watch The Haunting of Bly Manor. Once again, I'm not calling this a new season, because even though it's doing like kind of a, a American Horror Story thing, one, there hasn't been any other haunting of whatever since these two, and two, completely different story, same character, maybe it should be. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Now that I say it out loud, it makes total sense to just call it a season, but I refuse. I just refuse. I've already been doing it for too long. <laughs> I've already been not calling it a season for way too long. Oh, so he's not a drug dealer this time. Or a drug addict. Drug dealer? <laughs> Maybe he is a drug dealer. <laughs> Truly love another person is to accept that the work of loving them is worth the pain of losing them. That's an interesting way to put it. There's three suites in the castle and Jack wanted to stay here. Just for one night. Before we left for the honeymoon. Just tomorrow, just after the reception, so we could just stumble upstairs. Just the stories. You didn't see her. No, God, no, I didn't see her. If I saw a dead woman, a dead nun, no less, crying in the corridors, we would not be getting married here. Okay, it's just a story. <laughs> this place used to be a convent for like a few decades in the 40s. It's part of the sales package. They can charge a few hundred extra for the ghost story. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. <laughs> they could charge a few extra for the ghost story? No, no, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm pretty sure people lower the price for that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, unless you find like somebody who's really into it, which is possible. Ghost stories are worse when there's a kid. Adds a little something, doesn't it? <laughs> I have a story. Uh-oh. I have a story. <laughs> She looks great with gray hair, by the way. She has kind of, she's just like a... All right then. A wise beauty. <laughs> Again, this story isn't mine, but it is full of ghosts of all sorts. The teacher was, by choice, a solitary young woman. Come up to London in trepidation to answer in person an advertisement. Placed by one Lord Henry Wingrave regarding his young nephew and niece, who were in need of an au pair. A full-time position, it said, live in at that. Is this still her voice? This doesn't sound like her voice anymore. Am I crazy? In his old family home in Wessex. A great good place, alone in the country. What was that? What was that? I've seen that before. That was like some Sin City shit. You know, it's all black and white, and all you see is like the reflection of the glasses, and they're all like white or whatever. I, hmm. There I was, fourth grade. In the States. Mm-hmm. Been in England long? About six months. Six months, during which time you've... Well, I've fallen quite in love with London. Tea, a coffee. No, thank you. Haven't quite mastered tea yet. I'm used to it coming in a pitcher. Full of ice cubes. Something tells me she's not making much of an impression. <laughs> I don't know. So far, every movie I've ever seen where it comes to like the UK versus America, the UK, like there, there's just this natural like argument. Like the uh, America thinks of UK in a certain way and UK thinks of America in a certain way. And he's giving off that kind of classic, you know, how the UK thinks of us kind of thing, at least. I, I don't know, I might be reading the room wrong, but you know, like it's, it's a very traditional type thing when you're you know, drinking tea in, in UK, at least as far as I can tell. And she's kind of like overemphasizing the American style, which is definitely, I think, looked down upon in the higher, in the higher society of UK. Yes. Oh, it yeah. is. See, that's some tea right there. You've no previous experience as a no pair. Fifteen years ago, I'd be down with that tea. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry about that. It's the country roads. How long was I out? Oh, a while. Are you still on American time? Oh, no. <laughs> I just haven't got much sleep lately. Six months. She should be used to that. It's gorgeous. Is it? What? Is it? Well, I can't tell any more personally. Uh, I was born in Bly. The town, I mean, not the manor. Oh, okay, so it's both. Spent some time in France. What? Studying to be a chef. 
Okay, here I was just thinking you were a driver. I don't know. Only sometimes when Henry asks me. <laughs> Frankly, I'm a rubbish driver. <laughs> but not a bad cook, turns out. Glad you come back from France. I can relate to that. Everything he just said. <laughs> I'm not the best of drivers, but I know how to cook. <laughs> That's me in a nutshell. It's just so gorgeous here. Yeah. I know I keep saying it, but there's no other word. Oh, I can think of a few others. Oh, I should not love it. <laughs> what? It really is very silly, isn't it? <laughs> yes, you're a very silly girl. Where did you get that? What? The butterfly clip. Oh, um, Miles gave it to me. He shouldn't have done that. Oh. Why not? Because it doesn't belong to you. The other one, but for you. I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh. I, I'm so sorry. God, if she keeps looking past her like that, that'd be so creepy. And she just doesn't want to see the mirror. Can I play with my dolls? Yeah, 15 minutes, okay? I thought she was gonna break it for sure. Very noir, whoever that horror character is. Very noir, am I saying that right, noir? She's already breaking the rules. That's just too big a fucking house. <laughs> That's just way too much house. What lurks in the darkness? I got a, a house like this would totally reinvigorate my fear of the dark. <laughs> no, what? Jesus. It's a gradual whistle. It doesn't just automatically volume 10 like that. Ooh. Uh, what's about to scare me? I feel like it's building up to it already. I gotta say, there's gotta be a fortune in linen. <laughs> Everything's covered up with the sheet. And I, I mean, is it a regular sheet or do they make sheets specifically for this purpose? I don't know, because I've seen this in a lot of like the, like all the movies and shows that have like gigantor mansions, like old world wealth. Do this, I've seen this in everything. It's gotta cost so much money to cover up all of this stuff. Oh, I don't know, I don't get it. <laughs> Sheet, 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 sheet. There's like, it's like five beds worth of linen in there. God, that's such a well-kept lawn. I'm sorry. You know, you need to make sure that you pick these up. I would hate to break. Where would you like her tonight? In the house or under the dresser? Miss Clayton? I was just about to suck you. What just happened here? I cannot sleep without it, I'm afraid. That, that's why my cupboard. Would you fetch it for me? I'm awfully sorry. Yeah, the whole vibe just changed. Here you go. She can sleep with you tonight. She didn't like that. You could tell she didn't like that. Hmm. I don't see it. I must be under some clothes. Creepy children. Mm. Oh, shit. Why? <laughs> okay. Interesting, interesting. A few times a year, it seemed, she started her days with a mop. Always the same path, from the door to the forbidden wing and back again. The door got stuck. 
For some reason, I want him to talk about the Horcrux or something. I don't know why. I just had a Harry Potter moment. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't think there's any scene like this in Harry Potter. <laughs> I just had a Harry Potter moment. Why? Completely accent driven, I guarantee. But I'm afraid I... I don't believe you. That's the issue. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's a good way to present it right there. That was trust is a key factor. Miles! Uh, Miles, it just smoked my head. What was that? If you like this highlight and you want to see more of me watching things like this completely unedited, hit that link below, Seven Deadly Bananas on Patreon. Get in there and start watching TV with me. Denim Owen. Hi, Owen. Owen Denim. Can I say and have a glass of orange juice with Owen, please? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not being cheeky or anything. It's just, I quite hate the cellar. The perfectly thing's really bugging me all of a sudden. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Again, I feel like the little girl's accent is a little pushed. Am I wrong? Is that her actual accent? It would be almost more impressive that it wouldn't be, if you ask me. Like, because to be so young and trying to learn an accent and to apply that to your regular life, that's fucking tough. I don't care who you are. Like, that's tough for me right now. You have to do it for fucking months to try and get that down. Green Bay! What the fuck? Can I have a button bunk? Mm. Thanks. That's a good I'm glad kid. You're all right. yeah. I'd like to think I'd be that kind of kid, you know? Why'd you jump? <laughs> Just looking for the right key. What was that? I saw you jump. I fell. No. No, no, no. Yeah, well, if you ever need anything, I'm here for you, mate. Okay? That's a good kid. That's a good kid. Fuck yeah. Like, it's... <laughs> that's not what I would expect. The, the, like, the fucking school that I grew up in, they'd be like, why don't you fucking try harder? <laughs> I'd be like, why don't you pick a taller trees next time? That's cool. That's just cool. That, that takes my breath away almost. You cleaned. How sweet of you. You're welcome. <laughs> I put all your things into the wardrobe and chest of drawers. Uh, Harry Potter glasses. It's like if Harry Potter and Hermione had a baby. <laughs> I found these two. I didn't break them. I promise. They were like this already. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, okay. Those are a trigger, obviously. Something from her demons. She's about to have an episode, what the hell? Yeah, when do we get to figure out this, this shadowy figure that she sees? You all right? Oh, and then she has to try and hold it back like that. Let's see, that's, yeah. It's not so bad, right? Yeah. It's just not what you I think. Cried. Three, maybe four times a day around here. <laughs> <laughs> My endless well of deep, inconsolable tears. That's how. That's what got me the job in the first place. I feel like that's a personal jab. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that one of the only reasons why I started getting big at all, like if you'd call it big at all, like it started doing well, let's say it that way. It started doing well on YouTube and on the Patreon thing is because I cried. <laughs> I cry a lot. <laughs> I, I, I feel personally attacked right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see those hands. Okay. Okay. Sure. Teeth. That was an intense face. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. The lights are off? You're insane. You're gonna lose. You lost already. You're done. No, no, this is how it starts, folks. This is, these are the, the baby steps leading towards somebody screaming. 
their face off because they saw something. You should know better, 80s outfit lady. Those are borderline hammer time pants, hammer time. Borderline, now I'm gonna go through 80s medley. <laughs> Seems like I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> That's my Madonna impression. <laughs> Couldn't just play a lovely game of, I don't know, Parcheesi or something? Something that only requires one room. I couldn't see it that well, but I saw something. Over, God, it's stuck in my head now. Over the borderline. You aren't down here, are you? That's not how hide and seek works. This wing is off limits, game or not. Okay? Then don't go there. Fuck those kids. <laughs> I wouldn't go in there. <laughs> you're like, nope, if you're in there, fuck off. <laughs> this is, you know, textbook horror movie right now. You don't go towards these things. Especially with her. She is the one being haunted. She knows she's being haunted. She's like seeing these figures and yet she keeps putting herself in these obviously... I don't understand. It's like running upstairs, you know, when the slasher killers comes through. None of this is good. What is going on? I'm trying to hear it. That is a dead person singing. Uh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Fuck. I'm supposed to be looking for you. I would have peed myself right there. I'll find you. Ease up. Ease up. What the fuck, kid? One, two, three, four. No. Game over. Fuck yeah, Five. game over. All the lights, turn on. Turn on all the lights, thank you. Fuck. <laughs> Laura's hanging out with the asthma person upstairs. What was that? Broken window? Hey. It was only when it was too late that she realized this was a bad idea. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, fuck. What is that? That's the guy. That's her twin brother. Ah, he looks like he's... Yeah, what the fuck? Oh, smart girl. Finally. <laughs> I feel like there's some leftover horror from the last one. I'm gonna call the fucking police! Yeah, you are. It'll take a half hour for them to get out all the way there. Oh, God. I saw him. I swear to God, in the window. Same guy, same guy as yesterday. Hey, 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 it's okay, you're okay, you're okay, he's away! Dude, he looks creepy as fuck with that smile, man. 
I almost want to see some teeth, Joker style. Oh, that is creepy. He's creepy. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> oh man, that's an interesting way to end it. I mean, that kid, that kid is, he beams bad things. <laughs> like you can see it in his like essence. <laughs> You know, he gives off the color. <laughs> All right, you guys, that was awesome. Thank you so much for joining me. Always, always a pleasure to kind of move on to these things. Uh, and we will see you on the next episode.